12th November 2017. Yuraj posts this video on Instagram and within hours it goes viral. What followed was a 3 day long journey of arguments, conspiracies and sheer ludicrousy with statisticians, experts and journalists from three different continents joining the fight all in an effort to decode the mystery behind the strangest dismissal ever. This is its story. Now you can see why this video went viral. The obvious one being just look at that gap. In what world does an official empire ever give this out? Furthermore, neither the baller nor the fielders behind ever make an appeal. The baller had even started walking back and still the umpire gives it out. And finally, the batsman just walks away without any protest. Imagine being out in this situation. Even the noblest of saints would have some few choice words for the umpire, but there is nothing here. So, you have a ball that passes a yard away from the bat. Nobody appeals, but the umpire still gives it out and the batsman agrees. And as if this is not enough, within a few hours of this post, an analysis was posted on Reddit. but the original video was digitally enhanced and the umpire was declared to be Ian Gould yep one of the best umpires in the world two time participants of ICC elite panel and somebody who has even officiated in world cups he won't make such a noob mistake would he a further thread added that under law 31.1 the umpire cannot declare a batsman out unless and until an appeal has been made so what happened here well one of the first theories can be found under the original video on youtube the batsman accidentally hit his wickets while facing the last ball of the previous over but nobody noticed it at the time and umpire called the over to an end by the time umpire noticed it he just couldn't declare him out hence it was mutually agreed that when he faces the next ball the batsman will leave it and the umpire will declare him out simple enough right it took all of 2 minutes for this theory to be thrown out because there is a law for this exact situation law 31.3 for an appeal to be valid it must be made before the bowler begins his run up the call of over does not invalidate an appeal made prior to the start of the following over in other words the fielding side can appeal till the bowler starts the run up for the next ball they can appeal at any time before that but never after the start of the run up this rule holds even if the umpire has called an end to an over so if they had appealed before the next ball of the next over then the batsman would have been given out straight away if they had appealed after it just didn't count furthermore as stated earlier the umpire cannot do anything by himself an official appeal has to be made hence this entire theory was out but by 14th november two new theories had taken hold number 1 the batsman had actually been timed out and number 2 This was doctored footage. Now let's quickly dispose of number 1 first. A batsman can be timed out if he doesn't take guard within 3 minutes of a batsman being dismissed. Now, the moment those 3 minutes are up, he is out. The fact that the batsman was actually on crease means that this rule didn't apply. But the second argument that won't be ignored so easily. On a cricket forum, a video analysis was provided where they actually showed how two balls could be sliced together to make a video like this they even went to demonstrate such a ball through a sample video by 14th night this theory had nearly gone official with multiple people claiming that they had seen this video as an advertisement on new zealand tv now in order to confirm the theory people started digging through piles of old new zealand media archives even archived news sites were sifted through for a mention of this advertisement for nearly a day they searched to no avail till renowned cricket statistician mohan das menon posted a tweet saying for all those asking this match was played as a charity match in 2007 the rules for this match was that if a batsman leaves two balls which are playable without playing a shot then the umpire can declare you out and that's what happened in this case so a charity match with its own rules this time coming from a renowned name they should explain it right journalists hot on the tail of this story ran this as an official version even on sites like sports and cricket info but journalists unlike twitter require corroboration so through video analysis they recognized a few of the players on the field who were then asked for confirmation all of whom denied ever playing such a match furthermore this batsman was identified as Thomas Merlet who when asked for clarification posted some cryptic messages on Twitter so here we stood two days in with a whole bunch of discarded theories and no clear explanation 
and when there is no information there is misinformation suddenly there were posts linking this dismissal to the rampant gambling issues in the county cricket scene in england it was further confirmed that ian gould had not umpired a county stint during that period so this was a no name local umpire that means he could have been on somebody's payroll who knows even the batsman could have been on take that's why he didn't protest now even though no major side covered the speculation it was gaining traction starting conversations like how ipl has been fixed from day 1 or how bcci owns everything and decides everything you know that part of internet right so as the section of internet went down the rabbit hole there was some actual progress on the other front all the players in this frame had been identified through which this match had been found this was a 3 day match between surrey and bradford leeds university played all the way back on 15th march 2007 with the umpire on the broadsheet called martin bodenham and the bowler was a pakistani seamer playing for surrey at the time mohammad akram akram now the head coach of peshawar zalmi a team in the pakistani super league was immediately contacted who answered that he remembered what happened in detail so what exactly had happened here where it starts with this umpire martin bodenham before this he was a football referee and this was his first official match within this over itself there had been two very loud appeals which had been unanswered so the rookie umpire had been put under a lot of pressure now comes this ball it stays 6 inches away from the bat akram just decides to reset so does the wicket keeper but this man in the slip he does a half hearted shrug of an appeal and to the shock of even the bowler the umpire gives him out so the question comes if this was just another under pressure umpire making a bad decision why didn't the batsman protest <laughs> the answer here is even simpler this particular track had a lot of bounce that day and before this over thomas the batsman had been peppered with a baby of bouncers two of which had hit him hard on the ribs so by the time he was actually given out he was in so much pain that he genuinely didn't care whether or not it was fair he just wanted out we don't feel too bad for the batsman though in the second inning he went on to score an unbeaten 74 saving the match for his team this was the final explanation no great conspiracy no exotic rules nor any special conditions this was just another umpiring error just a bit more wrong than the usual ones making the outcome a lot more entertaining than what you would expect i hope you enjoyed this video i'm thinking of converting this into an entire series so do give me your suggestions for the best or worst things that you want a detailed analysis on till then hope you have a good day today thank you for watching